Hey guys, so classmate asked, what is the Hardy-Weinberg principle and how do we use it in biology? The Hardy-Weinberg principle is a mathematical proof that tells us that allele and genotype frequencies in a population will remain constant from each generation in the absence of evolutionary differences. Although it is often accredited to G.C. Hardy and Wilhelm Weinberg, William Castle also described the ratios for the special case of equal allele frequencies and showed that without selection, the genotype frequencies would remain stable. So what are these evolutionary differences that cause this principle to not be applicable? Well, if there's a small population, planned mating between individuals, a mutation in an individual's gene, gene flow, the movement of individuals' genes and the genetic material that they carry to another population, or if natural selection occurs, the process whereby organisms better adapted to their environment survive and produce more offspring, then the Hardy-Weinberg principle can no longer apply to the population. So in order to use the Hardy-Weinberg principle, all of these exceptions must not exist in a population. Yet, a lot of these exceptions are naturally occurring and they're very hard for scientists to control in a population. So then, what's the point of this principle if it cannot be applicable to real-world populations? Well, it's the violations of the Hardy-Weinberg principle that actually tells us a lot, as we see the ways in which the real-world values deviate from our expected values. Now that we understand the purpose and exceptions of the principle, let's understand its mathematical application. For this principle, we will have two equations, and the first will allow us to derive the second. In these equations, we'll be using the letters P and Q, with P representing the dominant allele frequency and Q the recessive. A way to remember which is which is by knowing that P comes before Q in the alphabet and the letter D in dominant comes before R in recessive. We know that these two values, P and Q, must add up to 1 since together they represent all the possible alleles for that trait in the population. So P plus Q equals 1 will be our first equation. To find a genotype frequency, we first must remember that a genotype consists of two alleles. Let's say allele 1 and allele 2. So that means our first allele frequency, p plus q equals 1, and our second allele frequency, another p plus q equals 1, must be multiplied together. Since we want both independent events to occur, as stated by the law of multiplication. Therefore, if we simplify this function, we get the second equation as p squared plus 2pq plus q squared. Now that we're talking about genotype frequency, then these variables represent different things. P squared now becomes a homozygous dominant genotype, and Q squared now becomes a recessive homozygous genotype. 2PQ, the combination of both a recessive and dominant alleles, represents our heterozygous genotype. Now, with both of our equations, we can answer some practice problems. Let's say we are given a scenario in which we sample a population and the percentage of homozygous recessive genotype is 36%. The first part of our question asks us to find the frequency of the recessive genotype. Since percentage is represented by that percentage number over 100, 36% is the same as 0.36, and that's the frequency of our recessive genotype, or our Q squared. In part B, we are asked to find the frequency of our recessive allele. Since Q by itself represents our recessive allele frequency, then taking the square root of Q squared will get us a recessive allele frequency, which is 0.60. In part C, we are asked to find the frequency of the dominant allele. Since P represents the dominant allele, we can use the equation P plus Q equals 1 to find what the frequency of the dominant allele is. Subtracting 0.60 from 1, we get the dominant allele frequency as 0.40. In part D, we are asked to find the frequency of a homozygous dominant genotype. Since P squared represents the homozygous dominant genotype, we can square 0.40 to get 0.16. Finally, we are asked to find the frequency of the heterozygous genotype. Using our equation, P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals 1, we can plug in the values that we know and solve for 2PQ, which represents the frequency of our heterozygous genotype. Therefore, 2PQ equals 1 minus P squared minus Q squared, or 1 minus 0.16 minus 0.36, which ends up being 0.48. I hope this video helped you to understand the Hardy-Weinberg principle and its application in biology.